motel just right up, up the street about a few blocks. And I came here. This is where Miguel and I stayed last year. I came here because our, our motel does not have any ice. And uh, this place has an ice machine right over there by the office. But anyway, when we came here, we stayed uh, in that room right there. I think it's room, yeah, 118, the one with the turquoise door next to the, next to the, the white one. Anyway, we're on our way now. Got gas and uh, basically ready to go. Eric hasn't had a bowel movement this morning. He's kind of upset. Up. <laughs> <Battery's going good. laughs> we just entered Peach Springs, Arizona. There's a postcard I've got of that place. Which one, the gas station? That one there. Park in front of the gas station. And then there's this one. But I think I've got a postcard of it too. That with all the new trucks and things all in it. There's an old sign that's the little tiny little houses still intact, I believe. Well, we just blinked our eye and went through Peach Springs. Next stop is Seligman, Arizona. like it's ready to go down so I want to like wear it out before before I have to take something bitching and then I you know so I can just switch it. Well we're coming up onto the dinosaur caverns formerly the grand no 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 it's for it's the uh, Grand Canyon Caverns formerly dinosaur caverns but with the uh, the big hype that's going on about Jurassic Park, they ought to just change it back now and cash in on all that. Miguel and I went here last year, so Eric and I are going to bypass this. This is where they had the mummified bobcat from 1840-whatever. But this is one of the last, one of the last few remaining roadside Route 66 attractions still in operation. You know, with the motel and restaurant. It was nice. Anyway, next stop is Seligman, and I guess it's about 25 miles, so uh, we'll pick up there. Look at how far away and long and desolate this road looks. Just straight off into the desert. A motorcycle passed us a while back, and I think that little dot up ahead is him. is about, uh, it feels like it's in the, what, 80s, low 80s? It doesn't seem to be hot yet. 9.05 a.m. And uh, I'm kind of hungry. I only ate six granola bars and two pieces of fruit, but that didn't fill me up. Eric, you know, I think if you drink some coffee, you might be able to help your problem. Anyway. I'm running out of my home shopping, uh, home shopping club network or whatever they call that. I'm running out of things to say. Okay, I'm turning off. Finally, now. we've, uh, we made it to Seligman, home of Angel Delgadillo, the guy who really pushed the beginning of the historic Route 66 association here in, in Arizona. There's the Route 66 historic general store. That's where Miguel and I stopped last time. Mr. J's coffee shop. Do you want to go in Mr. J's coffee shop, Eric? Sure, why not? There's the Route 66 motel. Okay, let's uh, go in here and see what Mr. J has to offer. Just ate at the uh, what was it, Mr. J's coffee shop. Yeah. It sucked. 
every single thing, every utensil, it was on uh, plastic. Plastic plates, plastic utensils, plastic cut, it was all, everything was throwaway. I don't know, I thought it was kind of ungroovy. Well, let's see now, this is the guy's barbershop. It's like totally popular. Went in there, parked. Is he in there or is it closed? Hey, the door's open. Maybe I can get a t-shirt. I'm gonna pull up here and park. There's the snow cap. That's the famous joint. The brother owns that. Well, we just left the snow cap. We had ourselves a chocolate and vanilla malt. What we're on now is a stretch between Seligman and Ash Fork. It's an 18 mile stretch. And you can see that it's got the uh, red, red asphalt, which is uh, typical of Arizona, of the Arizona road. Even on the interstate, some of the interstates have the, uh, the red asphalt. This is really great. We are like the only people out here. It's a great day. Now it's starting to warm up. It feels like it's in the high 80s. Now in Williams, Arizona, it is 12.55 p.m. It's the main drag here, Highway 66, and we're gonna look at some antique shops. The Eagle's Nest, the first one. Miguel and I hit this one last time. There were a couple right here close by. So let's see what we uh, we got here. This was... They got t-shirts and stuff in here too. I'm trying to get it fixed, but it needs a new uh, valve stem. Look at the door mascot here, the bouncer of the bar here, the Canyon Club. Hey, doggy. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, I just bought a t-shirt there in the Eagle's Nest. Okay, these two next door we'll go to. Over here to right at the the New Mexico line. Uh huh. See this road here? Right. Okay, you take this up here, and this is Canyon de Shea up here, which is a beautiful area. Have you ever been there? Uh huh. Oh, it's uh, supposed to be gorgeous. We've well, if you got a lot of time, this is worth it. Yeah. Because you can do this. You can see this in about uh, I'd say five hours, and then double back. Take this road up here and then take the right fork over here where it's at Rindle Rock and it goes up to Navajo. Uh -huh. This is into New Mexico. Then, as a matter of fact, you could even come back down and cut over this way. See what I'm saying? Right. See this road here? These are all paved roads. They're not dirt roads. But this guy says, he's a part Cherokee, Cherokee Indian. He said that this drive here is prettier than Sedona. He's got a store down in Sedona. He's a gym. Yeah. You know, uh -huh. This is a beautiful trip. We didn't do it because we didn't have this little shop here. We got the Chinese doll. Remember those coasters? Well, guess what? They're still here. <laughs> got them. God, that's a vicious doll down here. Vicious. She went after it. What do you want for those wagon wheels out there? Two dollars? Okay, that's fine. That hold them for two bucks. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we we wake up morning. yet this morning? Oh, she feels good today. I was just thinking. Okay, so we're back after the walk. Okay. I'll be here. You know, now when 66 comes into town here, I notice that it, you get off the exit on the interstate, but then there's like a, a little bit that goes up that way. Does it stop, like dead end? Going. What, on the west end? Yeah. 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 But you can go from here to parks without going on the freeway. Oh, okay. Just stay on the main drag and just follow the road, huh? Well, you know, if you stay and do that, you end up at the Grand Canyon, but when you get just a little bit east of here, up downtown, there's a little road that's off to the right. 
That'll take cut you over to Garland Prairie, and then you come back across the freeway past the KOA, and that takes you all the way to the paved part of Route 66. But it's a good dirt, it's a good dirt road. The worst part is from here just down to um, Garland Prairie Road, which is there are a couple good potholes. You just can't go for the spot. Uh -huh. You just kind of have to watch it. And then uh, just take you all the way into parks. Okay. When I go to parks, I never even go on to the, on the freeway. Hello there. Well, I see they're involved in a card game. Oh, there's, there's Killer. That's, that's our killer dog. <laughs> she comes at 8 o'clock in the morning and she stays until about 5.30 or 6 in the evening. Oh, my goodness. She's hot, yeah. That's a great uh, bench thing. It's old. Yeah, that's neat. I like that, uh, the way the chrome does that. Yeah. Let's walk up the street. Bye, killer. <laughs> yeah, I remember that was it. Here's the other uh, one way. We were on the one way heading east in Williams on 66, and that's the one way. It's like a loop on the other. It's one block over, and that's heading west on 66. Here's the old uh, train depot. And those are the train cars that take you to the Grand Canyon. There's a, back off in the distance, there's some old ancient ones. We just came, uh, have come out of Williams and now we're on this stretch of Route 66 which is going to dead end, as the sign says, a thousand feet and we'll have to turn around, go back and join the interstate. But I did want to see what this looks like just to see the lonely desolateness of it. How sad. Look at the horses and everything. Wow. That cow is chowing down. Shall we? Yes. Places to go and things to see, huh? Yep. All right. Flag stamp. There's one of the surviving Route 66 hotels. Yeah, there's the train depot. Oh my God. There's the flag stamp train on the left. And then this old stone building. Now, Miguel and I were here at night. There's the Hong Kong Cafe, Miguel. Remember how wonderful, delicious it was? Oh, that was such an awful place. There's the wigwam. That's the thing you were talking about, Eric. The curios. Good time, rock and roll, baby. We'll get out, I guess, maybe. I don't know. Those are ticks and really good pictures here. There's the Grand Canyon Cafe. like this with a gas station. It used to have a gas station and wild animals, mountain lions and things. And of course it's been it was bypassed years ago and nothing left. But somebody had bought it recently and uh, well anyway we're gonna see what it, the property itself, see what it looks like now. It's just ruins I guess. Right here is the off-ramp but what it was is the original uh, highway right out in front of the place. But it's now the off-ramp to this place. Well, we're in Winslow, Arizona, and uh, we are going to stop into this Sonic Burger here, since they tore out the ones in Santa Ana, Chamber of Commerce or something. 
This is a street where it's got a one-way loop around, and we're, we missed the Sonic, so we're going to turn around and go in the other way here. Okay, you can go in on this side. But we're going to shake $1.99. So. What do you mean you hope so? Eric? Yeah, you are. Eric is walking off to go take a leak. This town is so depressing, it's like there is nothing here. Every business in the house seems to be boarded up almost. It's so dry. They're just old, you know? Like all many of the other towns we've seen. Ever since the uh, interstate bypass, and they just shrivel up. I really miss Sonic, but you know, I mean, they had the best burgers here. So this is the first one that we've uh, we've seen. There, I guess there was one in Kingman. Yeah, they're better. They're really good burgers. They're almost similar to Burger King. Really big and messy. Driving by this for a uh, photo opportunity. There's Lucy and Ricky's long, long trailer. Deserted campground and gas station. Itself. What do you call it? Original highway. Jackrabbit. God, they even have a dang ass sign for it. Look at the big rabbit out there. You can get out there and take a picture on top of it, Eric. <coughs> The car, the car with the, the, oh God, I gotta take this before the. All right, we just left Holbrook, got gas and left, and we're on a stretch between Holbrook and I guess the next big town would be, uh, what does that map say, Eric, down there? We can pull it up. Holbrook, and the next one is, uh, well, there's a little one. There's a little, little. I don't even know if they're there. Navajo, Allentown, Chambers. Chambers. But anyway, this section of the road, we're right on top of what was Highway 66, and these uh, telegraph poles here that I'm filming are no longer in use. They, some of them have wires hanging, dangling off of them. That's how old they are. What they've done is they've moved it, moved them over to the other side. It's pretty flat. There's just nothing out here. Absolutely nothing. place, Miguel? A place with the, um, it looked like a fort, like a cavalry fort. We came here to get postcard stamps and uh, the little post office was closed. Anyway, Eric wanted to stop here and take a picture, so that's what we're doing. Here we are on 66, just right outside of the uh, border we're, of New Mexico. We're in Arizona still. And we're basically on the board. This is the area or town of Lupton. And right on the other side of that little, uh, that's the interstate, that bridge, is a trading post. And if you'll notice, look what they did, Eric. They put uh, fake animals and stuff up on the ledge up there. The 
trading post is below and they like made little uh, animals and stuff up there on the ledge. My, but they're clever.